Hi, this is Sue Stinson again. These are some mums I've got planted in a cinder block. These are a purple bloom, and uh, these particular ones down here aren't blooming yet. But if you plant mums, um, you uh, in the spring cut their tops off, and you can take those tops and stick them back down in the ground, which is why they're so thick. They're thick because I kept cutting the tops back and sticking it back down the ground and rooting them. And so now I've got them really thick. And still, every spring, I'll cut the tops back so that they're thick and plant them in other places and get them growing there. Uh, they've got buds on them now. And uh, some of them up in my basket are starting to bloom. Let's move up there to the basket. I usually start a basket like this. If I've got a friend that is wanting some mums, uh, I will start a basket so that I can share them with my friends. But here you can see the bloom on these mums. And they've been fairly easy to grow. Uh, we have some very poor soil. It's red clay. But whenever you grow in a basket or a cinder block or something, you can put whatever soil you want in there. And so it doesn't matter what kind of soil you have. <clears throat> But still, I amend my soil with cardboard, and it's called sheeting. Here's where I am planning to plant some more flowers. And since this is this terrible red clay, I have put down first some cardboard sheeting. And underneath it, the worms are working, the grass underneath it is dying. I'd also put some dried grass up underneath it for nitrogen. So I should have some really good soil Maybe by next spring or sooner. I might even plant this fall, depending on how broke down it is. Um, but I think you ought to try this, uh, either for vegetable gardening or for flowers. If you've got a lot of grass, but you want to turn this into a garden of flowers, just go ahead and get the cardboard that you can find at the stores where they're throwing it away. Lay it down thickly interlacing it over and over again, even put some dried grass underneath it if you want to for the nitrogen, and just kill out the grass and let the worms make you some really good soil, and you'll be ready to plant and grow some really good things. This is Sue Stinson, your Okie Dokie Gardener Gal, signing off. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy this tip. Subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> See you later. Bye.